Hello, church friends. Um, welcome to our third in the installment of our Psalms for the Summertime series devotionals. These devotionals are midweek devotionals that anticipate the coming Sunday and the psalm that I'll be preaching on. And, and they're designed to get you to think about them a little bit and to get deeper into the psalm so that your heart will be prepared by the time we get to Sunday morning. Today's psalm is Psalm 88. Now, if you are with us last week, you'll know that I, I did a psalm of lament last week, Psalm 74. And all psalms of lament are pretty dark. Um, this week, we're going even darker. Psalm 88 is, without question, the darkest psalm in the Psalter. Um, it's, it's really a challenging psalm. And, but I think partly because it is the most challenging psalm, partly because it is so challenging, I think it's really important that we spend time with it together. Let me just read the last three verses of the psalm, just to give you a sense of how it ends, just to give you a sense of, of what the psalm is like. The psalmist is talking to God and he says, from my youth I have suffered and I've been close to death. I've borne your terrors and I'm in despair. Your wrath has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. All day long they surround me like a flood. They have completely engulfed me. You have taken from me friend and neighbor and darkness is my closest friend. And that's where the psalm ends. Um, I encourage you to read this psalm a couple times this week. And then as you read it, let me ask you these questions. How is this psalm, if you've read it, different from an ordinary plea for help like you have in a lament? What's different from this psalm, about this psalm, from a normal lament psalm which cries out to God for help? Can you sense a difference? And second, um, who would ever pray a psalm like this? What kind of existential position can you imagine? What kind of what kind of place would a person be in to play, pray a psalm like Psalm 88? We don't know exactly what it was, but what do you imagine would be the state of a person who would be driven to Psalm 88? What's a Psalm 88 kind of place? Um, third, after you've read it, would you ever recommend this psalm to someone? Would you ever say to someone, hey, you know what? I think you should read Psalm 88. And if so, what kind of person, to whom would you recommend it? Um, We'll struggle with this Psalm Sunday. I think it'll be a good struggle. And as we struggle, remember that even as strange and as hard as this Psalm is, after I'm finished reading it Sunday morning, I will say, as I always do, this is the word of the Lord. I will say this is the word of the Lord because it is the word of the Lord. This is God's word. This is Holy Spirit stuff that God wants for our hearts. What is God trying to do to our hearts through this psalm. That's what we'll think about Sunday morning. Thanks, friends. See you Sunday.